guys, welcome back to the channel and today's video is about voice over IP and voice VLAN. So this video was requested in the comment section and I think this is a really good topic for networking as well. So in this video, we will talk about what voice over IP is and its advantages, how we use voice over IP at work, implementing voice over IP, and we will do a voice VLAN lab in Packet Tracer. Okay, so if you are interested in knowing more about voice over IP at work, and also configuring voice VLAN in a lab. Please keep on watching and don't forget to let's get started with today's video. Okay, so to simplify voice over IP, it's a technology that allows you to make phone calls using broadband internet connection instead of the regular phone lines, which are analog. So if you're familiar with landline phones, they are using a different technology called POTS or PSTN, and it's using basically copper wire to connect to phone lines. So in voice over IP, you can use a phone just like what a landline kind of looks like, and it, instead of using a phone line, it uses Ethernet just like how we connect our computer to the internet. Okay, so most businesses nowadays in this time where internet is mostly used, voice over IP is commonly used in the business sector because of the cost savings that you can have when using this instead of the regular phone lines. It's scalability, flexibility, and also it's integration to different technology as well. So voice over IP comes with a lot of different features just like call forwarding, voicemail, conferencing call, with no extra cost, that's why it's also cost saving for businesses to use it. Also, another great thing about voice over IP is the scalability. It's so much easier to add and remove phone lines using voice over IP because it's not costly, it's way cheaper than having a new infrastructure or a new phone line just for adding a new phone. So if you already have a switch at work, you can use IP phones that have power over ethernet capabilities. Also, one of the advantages of having voice over IP is the integration with different apps just like messaging apps and other collaboration tools. And this comes at no extra cost also. So it's a very cost-effective solution for a business. So the phone that we use for voice over IP is called the IP phone and this allows users to take calls using an internet connection. So there are also different types and make and models of IP phones. There's the Polycom phone, the Grandstream phone, Cisco phone, and more. And I'm going to show you what we use at work. We use a Cisco IP phone 8851. Okay, so let's look at it at the back. So here's the different ports in the back of the phone. Okay, so there are three ports in here on this side. So one is for the Ethernet. This is PoE and this is what we use to connect to the network so it will turn on the phone and on here in the middle is the access port so this is an extra port where we can connect the computer so this is our IP phone network and there's two cables connected to it one for the network switch and one for the computer so this Ethernet cable that is plugged into the PoE port is connected to this wall jack that's patched into our network switch. The Ethernet cable that is plugged into the access port is connected to my computer that gives it network access. So I think that this is also a good solution to minimize the switch port that you are using. So instead of using one port for the phone and one port for the computer, you will just use one port for both the phone and the computer. Thus, minimizing the amount of switch that you will use, which is also cost effective and can save you money on devices. Okay, so now that we have talked about voice over IP, now let's move on to voice VLAN. And these two are related because we use voice LAN to implement and deploy voice over IP technology. Technology. So voice VLAN is a feature in network switch that segregates data traffic from voice traffic within a LAN. So going back to our example earlier, because most Cisco phones have an access port, you can use it to connect the computer to the phone and then to the switch. So you will only use one switch port instead of two. And for us to be able to do this, we can use the voice VLAN. The advantage of this setup is that you will only use one switch port for the computer and the IP phone. There is an issue with this setup though. Because we have two devices here, the phone and the computer, their data will travel in just one link in here going to the switch. Best practice in networking is to prioritize and manage voice traffic separately to ensure high quality voice communication for voice over IP systems. Voice traffic requires real-time transmission to ensure that our phone conversations remain clear and uninterrupted. 
So for us to prioritize voice traffic, we can use Voice VLAN to separate voice traffic from data traffic. All right, so now we can get started practicing our voice VLAN configuration in Packet Tracer. And if you have Packet Tracer, you can just follow along. So what you need are the devices first, of course. All right, so we are just going to put a switch in here, an IP phone and a computer. And you can all see that from down here. So under the end devices is the IP phone and the computer. And now we just have to cable it. Okay, so now we will cable it. So let's start with the computer in here. Just click on the cable, click on the computer and select fast ethernet. Then click on the phone and select the PC because we are connecting the PC to the phone. Now grab another cable and then click on the phone, click on switch and go to fast ethernet one or any ports. And then of course, as you can see, the light is red, which means that it's not going through traffic, not going through yet. That is because we have to turn on our IP phone. So in Packet Tracer, it is off by default. So what we're going to do is to click on the IP phone and go to the physical and click on IP phone power adapter in here. And you can see the power adapter at the bottom and just drag it and just plug it into the port. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So I've shown you earlier where the power port is. So it's this round port in here, just connected to that. And as you can see, the light starts to turn green in here. And it means that it is now powered on. Okay, since we are going to have two VLANs in here, the data VLAN and the voice VLAN, this link that goes from the switch to the phone is going to be a trunk that has 801.q, which is a VLAN tagging protocol that identifies what kind of VLAN goes into the switch. So we have 801.q in here so that the switch would know which VLAN is the voice VLAN and which one is for the access VLAN. So the concept for this is that it's going to act like a trunk, but in the configuration later on, it's not going to be configured as a trunk port, but you will see how it will be configured as voice VLAN. Okay, so let's get started configuring this now. So let's go to the switch and CLI. First thing that we have to do is to create the two VLANs, the data VLAN or the access VLAN and the voice VLAN. So let's type enable configure terminal. VLAN 100 and then let's name it like the data or let's name it computer for this example and then let's create another VLAN VLAN 200 this is for the phone okay next is that we have to configure the port in here which is FA01 as an access port Okay, so let's go to that interface and FA01 and then just do switch port mode access. And now let's configure it as an access VLAN first. So let's type in switch port access VLAN and the VLAN number for the access VLAN, which is 100. And then switch port. Because this is a voice VLAN, we are going to use the command voice because we are configuring it as a voice VLAN too. And VLAN, then number 200 because that's our voice VLAN number. And if you don't see any errors in here, it means that your configuration is correct. Okay, so if you wanted to verify now that you have configured it correctly, just do, just do this command. Show enter faces and then the interface number fa01 for me and type in switch port and if we look in here closely you would see that access mode vlan is set to 100 and that's our access vlan and voice vlan is set to 200 which is our voice vlan so it should work now and as you can see it is lighting green now which means that the interface is up Okay, so that's how you configure voice VLAN and that's the background on what a voice VLAN is and how it works. Okay, so that would be it for today's video. I hope you learned something about voice over IP and voice VLAN. If you have any questions, please feel free to 
leave it in the comment section down below and hope to see you guys in the next videos thank you so much for watching